One of the reasons why most people now think that Donald Trump is not going to win is not a function of the dissatisfaction with politics as usual or uh, love for Hillary Clinton or whatever. It's the, it's the demographic geography of how people vote in the United States. It isn't a national popular vote. You total up every vote and say, done, finished, 23 million versus 22 million, the winner is. Uh, you win state by state by state. So even if you win with a small majority in Pennsylvania and Virginia uh, and Ohio and a couple of other battleground states, you get all of their electoral weight. And you add that in the case of a Democrat to uh, New York and much of New England and the Mid-Atlantic and California and the other West Coast states, and you're very close to the 270 electoral votes you already need. Republican support, even Donald Trump's support, is deep in lots of places, but it doesn't, so far, capture the battleground states. As to what happens if he wins, uh, well, then he wins, and um, they will accept it. Um, Al Gore accepted the fact that he lost the election in 2000 by a vote of five to four in the Supreme Court on the last case, at the last hearing, uh, which, which agreed that the, the most recent recount of the, uh, the results in Florida w was the prevailing win and as a service to the country basically said, I don't like it, but I have to agree with it. Hillary Clinton will agree with it and then we'll begin to see whether Donald Trump is the iconoclast he says he is or whether the pressures from the rest of the party in Congress push him towards something resembling a Republican as we have seen them before. The second half of this, the other question about is there a middle way? This duopoly in American politics, first past the post in every state or every election, makes it difficult. I was just writing a profile today of um, Gary Johnson, name nobody here has ever heard of, I'm sure. Um, he's running as the presidential candidate of the Libertarian Party. He may have up to 9% of the popular vote. He probably won't win any states, and as a result, then he will not be a factor unless he wins a couple of Rocky Mountain states in a sharp plurality, and then nobody wins, and it goes to the House of Representatives, and they vote state by state by state, and then he is in the catbird seat, as they used to say in sports casting. He gets to negotiate the terms of who wins. And that could be interesting.